you feel? I was there. Hey, one, two, hey, hey, one, two. One, two, hey. Such a thing. Such a thing. One, two, hey. Hey, hey. Something you're going to be able to post online.
חודש טוב, חנוכה שמח, ערב טוב. We have to, of course, thank Jonathan Bell for how this whole thing happened. It all started with an email, and I'm Fred Ash Bronstein, thank you very much. And, we, uh, and Mrs. Bronstein is offering us dinner that we already ate, and you see it. Where we start? At the beginning. Once upon a time. <laughs> we have a song we'd like to start with. Uh, They said it didn't say Hanukkah Sameach. Hanukkah Sameach! Today is the seventh day of Chesed. Okay. No, Emes. Emes. Okay. So, Rabbi Nachman, as I'm sure many of you know, if not all of you know, was sent to the world with a message for Amisfil, with the whole world. Many messages. One of the main messages was to teach us that we are excellent and expert repair people. That no matter what has happened in the past, it's all repairable. Nothing is beyond repair, especially ourselves. <laughs> so, although there's a little voice that tells us inside us sometimes, you're beyond repair, we have to ignore him and defeat him. So, once was a student came to up and, and told him all things he'd done wrong how he hurt people and this and such. So the Rebbe said to him, you know, why do you only believe in your ability to destroy? Believe in your ability to repair, to fix. In Hebrew the words are, Matam amin shecholim akakel, tamim shecholim atakel. You can fix, repair. Okay. Like Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Sounds okay out there? Great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you know, we usually do these shows in America. We say, Who, who's been to the spot? So here at Shita, right? You've all been to the spot. I'm sure. You know, come soon. It's not that far away. <laughs> Especially in the summertime, it's a beautiful festival there called the Klezmer Festival, <coughs> and uh, we, we perform there usually. And uh, so, since we perform at the Klezmer Festival. We decided to learn a klezmer melody. Our fine fiddler, we can use it in a minute, taught us this klezmer melody. It goes something like this. Welcome, and Adonis' his parents are here. Well, it's here and here. That's their grandpa. Her parents are here. They're just celebrating their 60th anniversary. Guitar and vocals. Asabra from Rehovo now living in. Where else? Mr. Jonathan Saru. Ah, I'm from 
the holy city of Manhattan. <laughs> now, Baruch Hashem, we are living here with this unbelievable, beautiful, excellent family. My dear brother, my dear friend, Leah Ryder! <laughs> Okay, so so next song is is a song that was the concept team in Svat. The song's written, I guess it's fun. Uh, maybe not, but the, the idea we all sing the Chadodi, right? Everybody, if you think about it, it's an amazing thing. How do you add? Try to add one custom that everybody in all Amishur will agree on. You can't do this, but it happened. 500 years ago in Sfat, and spread the entire world that everybody started singing the Chadardi. So this is a Chadardi that uh, is part, first part is slow waltz, second part is a little faster. The rest of Hasidim in Sfat. <coughs>
This next song is a little bit uh, quieter song. French fry, I don't know why. <laughs> Next song is written by amazingly talented guitarist and vocalist Jonathan Sarum, who visited the chambers of music in heaven and stole this song when they weren't looking. So something like this.
Next holiday. Anyway. <laughs> All right. This next song, right, is uh, How many of you guys here exercise? Been here exercise. This is American again. Yeah. So those of you who exercise, you, you know, often people use music to encourage themselves to move a little more. You're running that uh, iPod or like, iPad, something, you know, working in their ears and making them run a little faster in the gym. The music's just pumping, you can lift a little more metal. So just like music can strengthen you physically, it also, also can strengthen you spiritually. Right? A melody can lift you out of a bad place, out of jealousy, even anger, into a higher place. So this melody is called a strengthening melody, melody for strengthening yourself. Hit chazkut nikun. And please follow our friendly fine figure fiddler. And clap along. Over your heads, over your heads, come on. This counts. Exercise. <laughs>
So we are in the deepest, darkest, coldest part of the winter, or near the coldest part of the winter. I know it's called Nachal Doleiv. I saw the Nachal today going in here. It's my ankles in it. Anyway, you know, it's the time of where kind of sleep falls on the world. Hashem comes to Hanukkah with a, with a miracle, wants to wake us up. In general, sleep in the Hasidic world is not a, considered a very, very good thing most of the time. I mean, it's good to get a good, good night's sleep. But spiritually, you gotta be awake, right? Bach you gotta be awake. So, sometimes we tend to fall into a bit of a spiritual sleep block. You know, we do these things, we go through emotions, but we're not necessarily there. We're like, we're walking along, and even praying or learning can happen to us. We gotta check ourselves, you know, am I really awake? We check ourselves. So, this melody uh, is a song where the person asked him to try it in a few languages. Uh, I think I'm maybe asleep, am I asleep? And tries to wake himself up and uh, we'll add some hope at the end of the song. So, we start off a bit tongue in cheek, so please bear with us.
Yeah. Is there a story, maybe? Say yes, say yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. And now for a story. For we not put a rest of talk something like this and well, something like this. Once upon a time, long time ago, there was a king. King. And the king had a son. And unfortunately, the king's son, the prince, well, he started acting a little crazy. Very crazy. He started to sit underneath the table, move his clothes, and thought he was a turkey. Turkey. No. <laughs> okay, so the king called in all the advisors and social workers. No one could help him. I finally along him a wise man. Said, your majesty, I can save your son the prince. Yes, but I must do it my way. <laughs> so he said anything, just please save us on the prince, please. So what do you think he did? He too removed his clothes, went down under the table, and sat next to the other one. Now there's two of them, two of them pecking away the crumbs and the bones under the table. So the, <laughs> the prince asked the new arrival, who are you? And the wise man said, well, who are you? And the prince said, I'm a turkey. A turkey. And the wise man said, I'm also, also a turkey. A turkey so I pecked around for a while, became well acquainted. We made friends. No, you don't get anything. We missed you. <laughs> the wise man gave a signal, and the king's men threw in two pairs of pants. The wise man put in his pants. The prince said to him, the turkey said, What are you doing? What are you doing? What's the matter? You can be a turkey wearing pants. He turned around and he saw a turkey with the pants. The so the prince put on his pants as well. A short while later, the wise man gave a signal, and the king's men threw in two shirts. The wise man put on his shirt. And the prince said, What are you doing? What are you doing? And the wise man said, You know, you can be a turkey and wear a shirt. Yeah, so very nice. So he continued in this way until the prince was fully dressed. And then the wise man gave a signal, and the king's men brought in some royal food. And the wise man began to eat the royal food. And the prince said, What are you doing? So you can be a turkey. You can eat the royal food. Yeah. So in this way, the wise man continued until the prince was fully dressed, eating royal food, and sitting at the king's table. He looked at himself. He's surrounded by the royal entourage. He says, wait a minute. Maybe I'm not a turkey. Maybe I really am a prince. So Renapi teaches this muscle because, well, so let me forget. They were sent down as beautiful holy neshamas, beautiful souls, sent down to this world for the highest, highest purpose. And we forget. We start to peck around the crumbs and bones and materialism and all sorts of other nourished types. We forget there's a mission we're supposed to be doing. And so the wise men come along, don't want to shock us too much. I said, look, you know what? Yeah, it's a, I want to be a turkey, okay. We're convinced we're, that's the team for us, fits for us to peck around the crumbs and the bones. Just try something. Try putting on the Shabbos. Try learning a little Torah. Try lighting those Shabbos candles. So I didn't let it grow from one end of the to the next. And we walk in the ways of, of majesty. The Torah is way of majesty, of royalty, of Malchut. So I realize, hey, maybe I really am a 
prince or princess, a son or daughter of the King of Kings. So I bless us all. This happens to all of us. We forget who we are. We go into some kind of turkey, turkey, turkey kite. So we shall all be best to remember, especially Hanukkah time, when the light comes down below the tent of Achim. This is a good time for remembering who we are. <laughs> you know, for a second, I tried something for me with the English. You know how we can, like my friend said, find ourselves only if we appreciate what we have. Said to Hashem, thank you very much. For everything, for all what you gave us. Even if we seek to thank you very much. If we have trouble, thank you very much. It's hard to say that. It's, when, when you're in the time of test, it's hard to say that. But just said, Ribonashem, thank you because he sent this for us. Even if we don't understand, said just thank you, Ribonashem. And when a person said thank you, well, what happened with him in his life? There was a kind of... Uh, <laughs> huh? Oh, but you said it's right. <laughs> channel, the channel open, and oh, what you need, Hashem will give you. You can see that, you know, mamash, mamash, mamash. And I wish you all that Hashem, from now, from this evening, we go out and start to thank. Thank Hashem, thank your wife. Your wife said thank you to your husband, to your children, your good children, your best children in the world. Ah, Ribbon Hashem, they are our kind of tikkun, we make a lot of problems sometimes, right? I wish you the best, Bezad Hashem, man. Bezad Hashem, no more turkey, okay? So along the way, sometimes we have to realize that it's not necessarily the easiest path. We stumble. So our next song is, we're not going one of his mottos. He said, Geval, never, never give up. That's what I Never give up. This song's actually written by a Holocaust survivor, a military of Israel. Sort of taste.
Is it a song for that we sing in our we sang in our show last week? It's a song for blessing the new month. We say the prayer. It's going to be used in our show in Bristol and Svat and other places in Bristol for the blessing of the new month. Very familiar with the tree on violin.
Who do you prefer? Was it all just... Okay. We're not taking a break, is it okay? Great. Good. Prepared, right? Now it's time for something completely different. You ready? Let's take a stretch. Breathe. Oh, wow. That feels good. <laughs> you guys are great. Hanukkah <laughs> Sameh! This is wonderful. Thank you for being here. It's wonderful to be here again. Thanks for having us here. We like to play. So people come listen to us. We like to play. It's very nice. Okay, this is a very special song. What are you doing? This is a song written by none other than Rav Nosson of Breslov. Emma Slavita. Rav Nosson of Breslov is not his main student. One of all this Breslov material comes, material comes down to us through, wrote this song. And it's called, the words are Ashreinu, Matov Halkeinu, Manoi Magoni. Everybody knows these words. You say to your sitter, Bo Hashem Ro, just people here. He was like, so, you know these words. But the thing is, if I were to ask you to write a, a, a song to these words, you probably do like everybody else, right? Really fast. I know that. That's what you do. But this song's not like that. Dafka not. It's a three part melody. Our rapper explains to us how, how it fits together. Three parts. The first part is prayerful. It goes like this. First, remember the them something to do. Tell them. This song we're going to teach you. Oh, we're going to teach okay. you a song. Right? We'll teach you a song. This song you take from here to your house. Okay? So let's start. <laughs> That's the prayerful part. You see the words that straighten when you sit here and you say, Happy are we, I, I'm, I'm feeling like in the mud. So I'm saying, there's a big distance between me, I'm praying, Bona shall bring me to these words to be fulfilled in me. Next thing is, it starts to sprout in a little bit of hope. It's like, Ashreinu matofu felkeinu, mano yimdei vati. Ashreinu matofu mano yimdei vati. What's more? Last part is pure joy. It's like this. For the rest of the world, you know the song now. Very good. So let's sing it together. So now, the very first time ever. To be sad with the with the Beit Shemesh <coughs> Beit Shemesh choir to sing a string. It starts off with an eruption like this.
so song is actually written in English, but see most things in English. That's why I read a long time ago on the woods around the spot. What? Turn it down a bit. Turn my voice to that. Turn it down the spot. We'll get to Hanukkah. This is a song about, we not be talking about calling out in prayer in your own language. So the song is written appropriately in English, which is my language. And it's written in calling out to Hashem to bring, bring, up, bring, me, bring us all closer to Hashem. It's called Take Me To You. She says she's supposed to be joyful all the time, right? Mitzvah gedola, liot, be, simcha tami. If you're going to be serious about being besimcha, you must be willing to resort to being once in a while. Silly. 
So, in that spirit, we once took a, a flight mm. back to Israel on a Friday. It's very interesting. Not a good idea. Made an emergency landing yeah. somewhere in the middle of nowhere in Ireland. And it's getting late on Friday afternoon. Trying to find a place for shoppers. Somebody Jewish, please help us out. Finally, we see one deep, a little green man. With payers down here. Green payers. Green payers. And he uh, was running. He's in a hurry for Shabbos. He has no time for us. She so ran after him. And ran to a big oak tree. A green oak tree. And in the oak tree, you hear the people already singing the Chadodi. A bunch of little green men with payers. And it sounds something like this.
let's let's be together because if we are together nobody in the world can be make harm us that just harm us everything from now from this evening amen, we amen. start to be together don't hate each other amen. We soon we have a selection selection election sorry election selection select select what he said <laughs> and I tell you something let's take Alex Menno on ourselves Alex Menno not to hate each other okay okay no the Sfaradim the Shkenazim Shkenaz Sfaradim not between us not between you know, the wife and the husband not friends not kids each one choose what he want to choose Tia Bari everything Baruch Hashem Milemala from now, we don't hate nobody, we don't get angry about each other. I tell you something, even if we get angry about each other because we're just human beings, you know, something like, wow, no, 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 just kidding. Too much movies. Just kidding. Okay? So don't let it stay inside your heart a long time. Okay, we get angry about each other. It's, it's, it's happening, you're just human beings. Nahon, 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 nahon. The work that's supposed to be, yeah, it's not to leave it inside. Okay, we fight it a bit, too many times. This is what I try to work with my wife, you know. Tell her, okay, okay, understand everything, okay. You're absolutely right. No, I'm right, yes. Okay. Never mind all day, you know, this is one argument and all the other kind. But not go with this all day. Not one day, even not one hour. Because it's killing our heart. Because you have a good heart, oh, Hashem, you're sweet like a candies. Hmm? More than candies. We have a good heart, oh, Hashem. Let's go to the Let's go to the To leave it that way, Bezad Hashem. And I wish you Bezad Hashem for this evening. Bezad Hashem, we born Shem Rachem Alenu, Shem Achulon, Yeh, Atzmanim, Don't get angry about each other. Rachem, please say Amen. Amen. Because of this, everybody will be healthy, say Amen. Amen. And happy. Amen. And bring a lot of happiness inside your house. Amen. And without Hashem, nobody from these kids, all this will n never fell down to Tarbut Ra, say Amen. 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 And without Rebun Shalom, you are the only one who can get mercy on us. Nobody, not the army. Bukh Hashem, a good army. I like the army. I was in the army. My son was in the army. But, but, but I tell you, a question, a question, okay? Now don't start, say one word. <laughs> Just kidding. Two words. <laughs> Tell me how it's possible. Imagine Khasvishano. What do you think the army can do? We do just we saw a small in the, in the summer, small war. Small war. Okay, I will get inside how many lost, you know, how many push in the bottom like this. Psh, Bombs all over. Imagine Chas Shalom. All the Arabs decide to be together. Chas Shalom. This is our luck. They are not together. They're fighting like animals. Oh, your both. <laughs> Imagine that Chas Shalom they decide to everybody together to push like this. The army can help us. What the army can do? What? 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 So I tell you something, Heaven, we live in a big miracle and only one in the world, in all our history, defend us and keep us. So, this is the master of the world, so let's talk with him. He said, Reporosha, we want to be good, because if we are together, we don't hate each other, don't get angry, don't think bad about each other inside our heart, nobody in this world can touch us, do, do something to us. So, Bezat Hashem, from this evening, we start, okay? Amen. New beginning. Amen. So now, play for you a song from the English title. And it's go like this. Very serious song, so it's all.
That's all the songs we know. Thank you very much, you inspired by the Kardashian, inshallah. Myron.